Next meeting is uh, November 20, and uh, we don't have anything scheduled there unless you want to consider a new chairman. Well, I think what, what we are asking, what I'm asking, and I have more experience as a selectman and a member of the budget committee than any of you. And what I'm asking to have the public have access to the whole schedule, and sometimes you have to adapt it, and you'll see on the printout yep. I gave you, it says revised <laughs> on something or other if we had to switch times when the town clerk couldn't make it. But the public... The voters, the taxpayers should have access to the entire schedule, all in one big sheet, on documents, Mary Louise, on the town website. Did you not just win your argument? I, I, Why do you continue making an argument after you've won argument. it? It's a matter of it's a it's, matter of of being disrespectful to the public. And, and I have, you and I have gone around right. and discussed so this, this is, a number of times. This is exactly times. why you need to consider And apparently having, stuff doesn't get this through. Is, this is exactly why you need to have this, a November 20th meeting. No. Because apparently, we, at least the Board of Slackman's representative believes that not only is your chairman uh, preventing the public from sufficient information, but he's less uh, uh, transparent than other budget committee chairmen. But he's also disrespectful to the public, and perhaps to yes. his body as well. And if that is the case, then you should have another chairman. And if that's the case, you probably wish to have a November 20th meeting. So the question on the table is, when is the next meeting? Okay, may I ask Mr. Frank. Okay, on the November 20th meeting, okay, are we having any presentations? No. 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 Then uh, may I make a recommendation that we forego the November 20th meeting because of the holiday and family and all that. All right. That's, That's a really good plan. Right. Any other thoughts on November the next 20th? meeting, no. Mr. Plouffe? But, but, but second, Mr. Ball. Right, can we have a vote on it, please? Wait a minute, Frank. You're just proposing that. But the time is limited here. There's a very short time. You'll notice on that copy of the agenda that we missed initially three meetings that year because the town didn't produce the documents yeah. on time, and that was a disservice to the Budget Committee. If you are really going to work on the budget, you can't miss one of those dates. You might have a snow date. It's supposed to be bad at the end of this week. You need to be sitting on your hind ends here working on that budget for the taxpayers of this community. And the whole schedule, and. HamptonBud.com can jump in the lake. You need that whole schedule on but, the town website. I, I understand that, Mary Louise. I, I, with yeah. No disrespect intended. Okay. Yeah. There are no off-town departments or offices presenting at that date. So therefore, They're based on that, right. it, it it would behoove us not to spin our wheels on a November 20th. That's why I'm making a recommendation. We forego that, and our next meeting, which is the 28th, which is a few days after, with, I assume, department being presented? You saw the schedule. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm proposing. So, And you seconded it? I did. Okay. So the problem remains that uh, Mary Louise makes a valid point. Uh, the board selectman. Uh, has in fact failed to yet produce the budget book in whole. Yeah. The default budget still isn't there. Yeah. The default budget has always been there every time we get a budget book. And yet, uh, instead of going after and taking care of that, we'd rather attack other people who work very hard trying to get more transparency. And I still suggest to you guys that if you want to support the statements that have been made about your chairman, in silence you are supporting it then you need a new chairman. Absolutely you do. And you need to address it. Otherwise, those comments have to be rebutted. And I am not going to do it. My work stands on its own. If it's not acceptable, then so it is not acceptable. Well, I am speaking from experience, Mr. Chairman, and... Now, I know you're speaking from experience, and the experience this community has had with your raising taxes over decades is well noted as I, well. I don't raise taxes. Oh, no, I know. You have nothing to do with what's taking place in this town, need, unless it's good, of course. You need transparency for the public. 
Yeah, right. that's critical. And the Hampton Bar dot com provides more transparency than it's this community not has ever a seen. Town website. I don't care. That's probably why it does provide well, more transparency. Care. The very reason it provides more transparency because it's not a town website. Can that's it. I have a motion. I'm, would Can you we accept a motion? To well, adjourn? he's got a motion oh, first. A motion. Whether we're going to meet on the twenty. Mr. 20th. Frank. Oh, okay. What's your motion? Sorry, who's the second? I just okay. Let Mike, me restate the motion again. Okay. I am saying since no departments, Hampton departments, are me are coming to present, that we forego the meeting and just terminate that meeting for November twentieth. Michael seconded it. Second, Mike. Yes. In favor. Opposed. We have tie. Well, you're opposed. No, well, you didn't vote. Well, Mary Weaves didn't vote well, either. I think I I will vote. You're opposed. Yeah. I oppose. Help me out Mr. Here. Chairman. Well, the motion Mr. fails. Because I abstain. I'm Mr. Neutral. <coughs> favor was uh, Frank, Frank, Frank and Frank Michael. And yeah. And opposed was Brian and David and myself. Correct. Hmm? Correct. Yes. Just because we have nobody coming in, I think we could use the time to review what we've talked about so far. Well, and, and I, I think we'll try to get the in my opinion we, we've well. gone line by line we beat everything up for an hour. how much can we beat up anymore I mean we we really Frank taken the look motion at it. to have the next meeting on November 28th it's that the motion okay. failed it failed right. I understand so I'm it just appears as though uh, the majority of the voting members tonight want to have a meeting on two days before Thanksgiving so Okay. But we're not even sure if we'll have a quorum, so we need to find out. Well, whether we yes. not, we, I mean, that's what you guys want, right? We want to meet on the 20th. Uh, we need five people for a quorum. Motion. I second it. I'm we saying if we meet Tuesday, five. we need five people to come. You voted for the motion. Right. Well, I can't, you can't go out and ask people whether they're going to come or not, because then that would become a, not a, a, a meeting itself. So either you're going to schedule a meeting for the 20th or keep the scheduled meeting on the 20th more accurately or not. And apparently we will because your motion fits. So our next meeting is November 20th. We are adjourned. Thank you very much.